guys, first ever Illustrator tutorial for me. I'm going to be doing a tutorial covering basic logo creation, the way I do it. Let's create a new project, or composition, whatever you want to call it. Logo. Let's just call it Logo. Uh, I'm going to call it Logo. Logo practice. Now, when I'm going about creating a logo, I'm pretty old fashioned. Um, let's just take my logo for instance, is DA uh, for my initials, Daniel Allen. What I'm going to do is type the letters DA in capitals, select them, make it bigger, and then with our select tool thing, I'm not the best with Illustrator, but I have technique. Have appreciation for style, and what's more, I'll create you a cool logo. So we've made this a lot bigger now. Just gonna make it a little bit more bigger, a little bit more bigger, a little bit larger. I think it's a bit more correct. Okay, so we've created these letters. Quite a simple font. I want to change it, the font actually, just so it's even simpler. Arial will do me fine. But it's a bit too big in Arial, so let's shrink it again. Hold down Shift to make sure it's a uniform scale, which means it scales proportionally. Let's bring it central. Now, I'm not actually going to use this as such, but it's going to be what I'm going to base it on. So if we lock this layer, by make sure we have our layers, we click this icon here, we can check here to lock it, and create a new layer. And then grab the pen tool, hit P for the shortcut. And we're going to start building an object, and it's going to allow me to snap two and if we go to about midpoint in the D and then drag, hold down shift and then I'll get an accurate drag. You can see it's starting to map around the D quite nicely. We're just going to do this roughly for now, and then like that. Now what we can do is move these points. If we grab this tool, a direct selection tool, move some of these points. Like that. It's looking good. And now we're going to do a similar thing with the A. Grab the pen tool again. Let's start here in this corner. Go down to here. And then basically rebuild this A. And haven't matched it exactly, but we're going to go to our direct selection tool again. Get it pretty accurate. Just like that. Now, when we hide our lower layer, you can see we've now got two pretty cool elements and with our object selection tool, well, complete selection tool, 
can move this over. It'll line up nicely. Now what I want to do is make it a bit more slanted because at the moment the A is OK but it's a bit hard to tell it's an actual A. So go back to our direct selection tool, grab these two points and move them over a bit. And then we'll need to drag these two points out till we get a nice shape, nice slant, and move this point as well. So you can see, in fact, it's probably a bit better than my actual logo, which is kind of annoying. We can just oh, grab both these objects. I've accidentally undone my movement of this point. Let's grab both of them, move them over a bit. As you can see, very quickly we've created a nice, simple looking logo. I think I might want to stretch them up a bit. They look nice, and you can bring them into. Illustrator, no sorry, into Cinema 4D. Into Maya. I'll cover it in Maya very shortly. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Yeah, obviously this is a very simple tutorial. But I hope it was helpful nonetheless. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.